first step to assembling the rollers is to actually put the bearing assembly together. So you're going to need four of these little pieces here for the z-axis and you'll also need for each piece, for each set, so basically for each of these little assemblies here you're going to need two quarter inch by one inch long uh, screws. You will need three of these uh, 5 16 by one and a half inch long screws and you will need three of the nuts that go along with the 5 16 screws. So with that being said, let's go ahead and put each of these together. I'm going to do one and then just beat the video so that you can see how to do the rest of it. Okay, first you grab the nut, you grab one of your bearings, slide the bearing in like this and slide the nut in one side. As I said, grab your bearing, stick it in there, and then grab your nut and your screw rather, and tighten it through the openings. It should just slide in there. So once it does, you can go ahead and um, and leave specifically this part alone. If you want to add an extra nut there, that's totally up to you. I usually don't, but just for the heck of it, for anyone who's going to complain, oh, you're not putting a nut in there so there you go just don't tighten it because what's going to happen is in the future you need to be able to rotate these two set screws to push this bearing inwards if you need to yep. so we're going to go ahead and put the next one grab your bearing slide it right in slide the nut So there's the real bearing assembly. I don't know how well you can see that in the camera, but this is what it looks like. And here's the front of it. You can see that it has the quarter inch by one inch screws sticking from the bottom portion. And that's because the intention is that when you, the expectation is that when you slide the tubing in here, uh, you can take the slack off of the tubing by twisting these screws here. So there you go, that's one. We need to do that for the remaining three pieces. Okay, so all of the wheel bearing um, assemblies have been complete. Next step is we now need to put the adapter that will hold this piece and the rod that will slide through here together. So this is what it's going to look like at the end when we finish assembling the Z-axis. Um, uh, bearing and, and roller assembly and all of this is going to slide right up on one of the z-axis tubing here. So to put one of these together you will need to print four um, of these pairs so you can see they're identical you just need to there's no need to mirror them just just print four four of, of, of this group of parts. Okay. So it's going to be in the z-axis folder and they all come as an assembly so in your printer I recommend you print them facing down like I'm holding so that this face is on your bed that way they'll be as strong as you can possibly make them. Um, the other thing you also want to do is once you finish printing these grab a quarter inch drill bit and just drill these three holes down here. Once you have four of these assemblies, you can see I have four of them on the table right now, so one, two, three, four. You will also need the belt pulleys. Uh, you need to print four total. For each of these assemblies here, you will need ten quarter inch by three inch long screws. So let's go ahead and put the next one together. Okay, 
So grab one of the parts, grab your 316th nut. You'll see that there's a hex opening in one of these parts here. Just go ahead and slide the nut right through it. You might need to press the, 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 the nut down if it doesn't just fall right in. So find a flat rigid surface and then press this down. So just like this. Now, once you have that on, grab the other piece and slide that piece over the knot. You'll see it also has a hex opening. So that slides on right over the knot and you press this together. Once you have those two pieces in place, it's a simple matter of now grabbing one of your wheel bearing assemblies, sliding it in. These are symmetrical, doesn't matter which way up, up or down you put them in, it'll be correct. And then you grab the nuts and screws and just push them through the um, for the wheel bearing assembly. to go ahead and repeat for the remaining two assemblies and then we'll start putting the uh, chassis together. Alright, so uh, the parts are ready and we're going to start putting it all together. Now notice I put the gantry on a support structure, that's just to kind of keep it at a level that is accessible. It's a good idea to do this if you don't have a second pair of hands helping you. So we're going to put these pieces in first, so take the roller assemblies off and mount them on the tubing first. Alright, so we have three totes uh, essentially just supporting all of the parts that would make up the, uh, the gantry and once everything is supported it's a little easier to just kind of slide the tubing in place. assemblies and uh, on, on this one that I'm putting together each of these fed rods is about, uh, about one foot five inches okay so one foot and five inches long and if you notice you'll also need some wheel bearings because at the bottom side of each of these fed rods there's a nut a wheel bearing and another nut and the idea here is that this nut, this, this portion of the threaded rod assembly is going to sit at the bottom of the machine and that's what's going to support the, the whole weight of this frame here. So thread it through the um, threaded nut that's inside of these couplers. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start doing that. you get the 516th nut, slide one of the nuts and thread it up about uh, three quarters of the way, three quarters of an inch in and then grab your wheel bearing, stick it right in there and you should have about a quarter of an inch worth of thread after the wheel bearing so you can tighten the last nut. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure you tighten them well but you don't want to tighten so much that the wheel bearing gets destroyed.
Okay, there you go. So the wheel bearing is sitting nicely in that opening. And we'll just do this again for the remaining corners.